The divine method of positive identification is repeated. As the son of Mary comes down in the masjid, Imam al-Mahdi says, here he is, this is the son of Mary. And history repeats itself. And then the son of Mary responds and identifies himself. Imam asks him, you lead the salat. He says, no, you are the imam, you lead. After the salat, then the confrontation takes place between the false messiah and the true messiah. And the false messiah is killed. And then Gog and Magog are destroyed. The Sea of Galilee is dry. And after Gog and Magog are destroyed and Dajjal is killed, now the state of Israel is without any support. Now it's going to be a level battlefield. A level battlefield. I may be wrong, but I suspect that there's going to be a massive collapse of the world of modern technology. I suspect that. And so horses are now going to be used once again. Yeah. The army now comes out of Khorasan. And that army attacks and destroys the state of Israel. The first time it was a Babylonian army. The second time it was a Roman army. And after the Roman army destroyed them and threw them out of the land, Allah said, وَإِنْعُدْتُمْ عُدْنَا وَإِنْعُدْتُمْ عُدْنَا if you return with your facade, we will return with our punishment. They return with their facade. It's happening now before your eyes. And so Allah returns with his punishment. And so now the Muslim army destroys the state of Israel. Where is Khorasan? In the time of the Prophet wasalam, has been researched by the eminent Pakistani scholar Dr. Isra Rahman, and he has explained that Khorasan is that territory which extends from northwest Pakistan, the Pathan Belt, northeast Iran, the whole of Afghanistan, and the territory north of Afghanistan. But clearly, Afghanistan is in the heart of Khorasan. This territory has one thing distinctive about it that Europe could never colonize the heart of Khorasan. The British tried when Britain was the ruling state in the world, and the British failed. And then the Russians tried when they had the superpower, the Soviet Union. And after 12 years, the Russians failed. And guess who is trying now? The war in Khorasan has just begun, Mr. Bush. It has just begun. On that day, when Islam liberates Afghanistan, I believe it is that army which will be unstoppable until it reaches Jerusalem.